Welcome back. So let's just try and actually run our application right here. And how do we do that? Well, if we jump into the Angular uh, Get Started Guide we just used earlier, and if we scroll further down, you are up here right now just creating a new project. If we scroll further down, you'll see how to serve the application in step three right here. All we have to do, it seems, is write ng serve inside the folder of our project. Now, just to be sure, you have to jump into your project. Now, when we installed this, I did it inside my Angular folder. And that means that it'll create a new folder for me called cast app angular right here and that's actually the project folder and this is where you need to run the following command called ng serve now you can write ng serve minus minus open if you want to but the minus open just means it's going to open the browser for you automatically or you can just write ng serve and just go to localhost and let me show you this option right here i'll just write ng serve the open one can be kind of annoying because every time you do this, it'll start a new instance of your application and that's just annoying when you've done it a lot. Instead, what I'm going to do is just copy this link right here. You'll get a, a local host with some URL right here, some port, right? And then you can just paste that into your application up here into Chrome or Firefox or whatever you're using. Um, this is Safari right here, but it's not important. I'll just paste it in there and there we go. Now we have our first running Angular application. Congratulations, that's how simple it was. So with this application running right here, I just want to show you one thing. I want to show you real quick introduction to the code and where we need to work. And the quick introduction will just be we have three different folders available and a lot of configuration files down here. Let's skip the configuration files for now. I'll dive into them later. But these folders, the first one is for testing. So let's just skip that for now and turn testing. This one is just a big folder that Node uses to know what folder, uh, what projects, third-party projects you're dependent upon, so that we're not going to touch that either for now. We'll let the CLI, the Angular CLI, take care of that for us. But inside the source folder, that's where we need to work. The source folder has a lot of different areas as well. We're going to skip most of them for now, but the most important part is inside the app. So now we're in source app, and there we have the first component and the first module for your Angular app. Now, what does that mean? Well, let me try and show you what we can actually do. Right now, you can see this beautiful app, that, the app that was created for me. Let's just try and jump back right here and open the HTML in here. And this is actually what shows up on the page right now. So if I just jump back, you'll see this is exactly what shows on the page. And what I'll do right here is I'll just remove all these, this list right here, the UL tags. I'll save this and it'll refresh automatically. Notice it refreshed automatically, I didn't click anything. I think that's one of the first amazing things I figured out with Angular. When you refresh, uh, when you save stuff, automatically, boom, you get a refresh, yay. So again, let me just jump back. Instead of this, let's just write, welcome to the customer app, like this, and save again. Oh, I need an E there, there we go. Save and jump back, and there we go, welcome to the customer app. So we just, changed even our first app. We, we ran it and we tried to change something inside it. This is amazing. Now we can do a lot more and of course we'll start diving into that. But for now, this is the actual app and we'll try and dive into this app in the next lesson and understand what each of these areas actually do for us. See you next time. Have fun.